Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Well, you asked for this video when we posted it on Instagram, so let's make one of my favorite side dishes, brisket elotes. So what is brisket elotes? Well, elotes is corn in a cup. If you're in Texas, you go to a gas station, there's probably a little stand with a couple ladies that'll make it for you for four or five bucks. In fact, the grocery store at the end of my street, Super Garcia, they sell it inside. Taquerias, it's all over the place. So it's a snack that we, that we get when we're out running around all the time. Now, let me cover this up front. Uh, we're gonna take this off the cob. So some of you are gonna say, well, that's brisket esquites well yeah technically but nobody calls it that around here and you never see it on any signs anywhere so i'm just going by what it's known as in fact my friends at panther city barbecue number 10 on the texas monthly top 50 they are famous for what they call brisket elotes so it's a favorite of ours we've made it at several barbecue festivals uh, we make it as a side dish uh, we make it at barbecue schools so I'm gonna show you two ways to make it, really one way, but you can serve it two ways, either in an individual cup like we buy on the weekends or um, as a side dish for your family. But first things we need to do is we need to grill some corn. Um, now, you don't have to grill or smoke the corn. Um, you can uh, take store-bought corn and heat it up however you want. In fact, when you have it made at the little stands, uh, it's usually like heated up in really hot water and drained out. But you know me, I like smoke elements and everything. So we're gonna actually grill this on our mill scale yakitori grill um, over live fire. So let's get some corn and let's get over there. All right, so again, this is a mill scale yakitori. We just got an open fire burning here. I love this little grill, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's got four grates, I've got three on, adjustable. Uh, this is pretty hot, so it's at least medium high. And I've got it set up with a grate up high uh, so that when, as this corn is done, I can raise it up over here. But I go on, I like husk back, nothing on the corn. Again, there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, you know, I've had people say they like to grill it or steam it in the husk. I'm trying to get that char on the corn, so that's just not my preference. But you can do this in a pellet grill. Um, you can do it in your oven if you wanted to. You know, again, a lot of ways to do that. So this is gonna be very simple. Uh, I'm gonna turn this corn constantly until it is just like nice and evenly cooked on all sides. Uh, and then we're gonna remove it and we're gonna cut it off the cob. These are starting to get nice color on them. Uh, we dropped this grate down to get a little lower um, to the fire. And you gotta watch it. You don't want them to, to get away from you. Move them around constantly. I'm gonna drop this one down too. Just the beauty of this uh, yakitori, super easy to give yourself a couple options. So I'm gonna take that one all the way down. All right, so I've been rolling these around for about 12 minutes or so, just turning them constantly. Uh, listen, that's not burn, that's char, and that's what I'm going for. Um, if you don't like that, like I said, you can, you can crank your pellet grill to high and you know husk these and put them in there for uh, 10 minutes or so. But this is what I want. There's flavor in that. So let's get these over to the butcher block and let's make our brisket a little piece. All right guys, let's get the corn cut off the cob. Now you could put all of this stuff on the cob and serve it like this if you want. Um, this is just our preference. Easy work with a Montana Knife Company chef knife. All right, we've got all the corn off the cob and let me tell you, it smells awesome. Perfectly tender sweet corn after 12 minutes on that hot grill. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of our fajita seasoning in it uh, because it's got the coolest mascot ever. No, it's usually what we use on, uh, on our vegetables. It's like our vegetable all purpose in addition to fajitas. So mix that up. All right, 
told you there's a couple ways to serve this. So in the recipe in the description and on meatchurch.com, the recipe is going to be to build a side dish. So this bowl um, with all of the components in it. But what we like to do, which is really kind of fun, is have like a communal aspect. We say Meat Church is about bringing people together to make great memories around good food. We'll have a little a low taste bar uh, so that people can build their own. And there's really reason for that. Um, there are things in my recipe that some people might not like. So, you know, when you go to a gas station here, you get a foam cup, uh, they strain the corn out, corn goes in, then there's normally equal parts, crema and mayo, a little bit of parquet, a little bit of cotija cheese, and then repeat it again. So two levels of that, it's handed to you. And from there, people will do hot sauce, lemon pepper, all sorts of different things. So I'm gonna build it the way that I like to eat it um, for ending this video. And then, like I said, you can check below in the description and you can get the recipe for the whole thing. So here we go. I'm um, gonna get a little bowl here. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna make layers. I'm gonna make uh, one. I might put a little more in. So fill it up uh, most of the way. First things first, parquet. Come at me with your comments about it's not real butter. I don't care. This is what they serve at gas stations in Texas. So this is what you're getting. We're keeping it authentic. Um, I like crema and mayo. Some people don't like mayo. If that's the case, just put a little crema in it. Uh, this is Mexican mayonnaise, or I'm sorry, Mexican sour cream, I should say. I'm going with the only answer when it comes to mayonnaise, Dukes. Unless I'm making Asian food, then I like q A little bit of that. You can always add more. So let's mix it up first and see if we like the consistency. This is to taste, right? So you don't want there to be too much liquid. That's a little wet, so I'm gonna go a little more corn. Okay, now you gotta go with all important cotija. How much? A lot. Another option, uh, you can use queso fresco. Uh, my friends Chris and Ernie at Panther City, they use queso fresco. Um, it's something they found their customers like. Um, all right, here we go. And then I always go lemon pepper at the gas station. So a little bit of lemon pepper on top. And let's kick this up a notch. You're gonna do it meat church style. We're gonna put some brisket on here. Why wouldn't you? And you can do all sorts of things to make it pretty and whatnot. You know, if you wanna garnish, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna do, um, none of that really matters all that much. So here you go fun little individual side dish uh, for your family, which I know you're gonna love. <clears throat> Fortunately, it's one of the first videos where I don't have to wait to let it cool off. We're good to go. So I'm going in and I'm getting a bite of the whole thing. I need more brisket. Nailed it. So good. Love it. Those are my favorite things ever. I swear it's every Saturday driving around running errands in the afternoon. This is what we buy. Um, but make this at your next barbecue. Heck, put it on your, uh, on your dinner table at night and I swear your family's gonna love it. We've been hearing from y'all that you want more easy weeknight meals, more side dishes, more seafood. We're working on it. So um, this is gonna be on meatchurch.com as always. Please like and subscribe. Got lots more of this coming for y'all. See y'all next time.